Hey everybody, it's Danny, Big Beard Audio, uh, here to show you uh, a update to the GV1 Ghostbox app. Um, this app first uh, was published uh, for Android devices March uh, 2013. Uh, it was originally created as um, an, a kind of a, a branch off of SV1 Spirit Box, where SV1 was becoming uh, a little more complicated and um, had a record function added and some more features added to it and I uh, believe that software ghost boxes um, work very well uh, aside outside of the device they're recording on so um, and I've been saying that for years um, I really feel that um, it's effective to have great noise um, you know within you know a foot or so of your recorder your video camera like I'm using now um, to uh, to pick up uh, things that the app is is catching. Um, so GV1 came out at, with the idea of being uh, really simple. Now this is obviously the update, so it has features that the original version uh, hasn't never had before. Um, some things are the same. There's four channels of noise um, set into two different uh, banks basically, um, and you can blend. Uh, you know, this way or that way, and on either channel sets of uh, banks here, and you can. Uh, it's similar to Echo Box in the fact that there's four banks, but it's different in the way that they're mixed. Uh, whereas uh, they're meant to work together in combinations is the way the sounds are designed. So um, you can, for example, if you don't want to use channel four here you would slide all the way over to three and channel four would be muted and you can and, it, and it, it, this channel is designed to work across this way and these two alone work well together vice versa and then also as I throw my phone around here also this way one and three are meant to work together alone and over here two and four are meant to work together alone and then of course you can experiment with any uh, setting in between and that kind of gives you a lot of possibilities as to how to blend the sounds um, and then at the bottom here uh, same as the original uh, you have a scan speed slider which uh, to the right is a very slow um, shuffle rate where it's just playing um, a lot of time between and uh, of course it gets quicker as you go to the left and all the way left is a, a fast uh, sweep rate um, and in this new version here these three are essentially the same the sounds are new updated um, but these functions are the same and of course the trusty uh, start button and I have our start button here um, there's three very noisy channels and channel one is more clean phonetics very very short phonetics there's no words um, there's no uh, it's not all from uh, total English speaking in a way that I warped the sounds I actually rounded out a lot of sounds um, so that they're just raw phonetics they're very very short um, and I recommend running that bank fast um, just to see what you get medium to fast uh, but this is all very new uh, so there's going to be you know a lot of experimentation between me and, and all of you guys out there that are using it um, I also want to point out that uh, this app is designed to be used in conjunction with Echovox it's really to be thought of as kind of an Echovox extension where you get four more banks uh, to use through the Echovox the most important feature we have is the reverb um, there is a digital reverb effect added to the output and um, if you hit the menu you can see there's uh, a preset here and you can choose between um, if you go here you can choose um, let's see here. I just put it on custom now it's on plate these are presets so uh, these change the way the reverb reacts or you can go on a custom reverb setup and then here's some links to some of my stuff on the web custom reverb setup launches this really in-depth uh, you really get into the uh, the guts of the sound engine here and um, crazy parameters that you can change to affect the reverb the decay time the reflections time if you don't totally understand all this 
it's totally fine. It gives you the minimum and the maximum that you can enter in these fields. So just go nuts and try different things. If you hit cancel, it won't save what you did and you'll go back to what you're using before. If you hit OK, that's the preset that you're using and that preset is loaded. Um, I recommend to people as you're doing your sessions um, and posting them in user groups and, and, and on the web and everything for people to review, you might want to take a screenshot or two of your settings here for your reverb because a lot of people are probably going to be asking. I plan on taking some screenshots or, or just the numbers here uh, for people to to use um, so they can see what settings I'm running. And these are actually the settings I, I've been messing with today, but uh, it's so new that I'm every time I do it I'm trying something different and I recommend that to you guys as well so I'm just gonna hit OK here and uh, I'm gonna let the sounds run at kind of a medium pace this is all four channels blended um, and uh, once again the app itself does not record audio so if you want to record you would launch another app and I recommend what you do is uh, we can do it in this video is to have echo Vox going so we're gonna play these sounds into the echo for right now this is just the app straight with uh, Let's do uh, reverb is off. Now, now we're going to just turn the reverb on. Increase the scan speed all the way. And then the blend. One and three. So those are the sounds um, in a nutshell, just to give you a rough idea as to how you can blend the four channels to make all sorts of noise. And if you go into those parameters and you start changing those numbers and that reverb, it's going to change the sound drastically. Um, it makes it so what's coming out of these the speaker on your device is very random. Um, it's got so many algorithms being applied to it from the effect um, with decay times and uh, frequency attenuation that um, it makes the sounds that the app is generating um, even more uh, random and unpredictable. So uh, that's the idea be behind um, the reverb being added. Um, this is the first ghost uh, box that I know of, um, software ghost box that has uh, reverb built in. I know the guys making uh, hardware ghost boxes have been making uh, little echo, adding echo chips. Uh, that have kind of a more of a reverb kind of sound than a, a traditional like echo and um, you know it seems to it really seems to help so that's the idea behind uh, the new GV1 uh, version 2 it's a GV1 Ghost Fox version 2 it's only available on Android right now probably stay that way um, and I encourage you to experiment share your settings join uh, Echo Vox users on Facebook um, and you can uh, share and collaborate with other people that are using this and real quick here I just want to show a method here uh, basically you'd have your GV1 open and you go ahead and open up your echo box start your echo I'm probably gonna feed back because I'm sitting in get this so we have echo going I'm going to open up my GV1. Hello. 
Hello? Hello? So that's um, GV1 running through an echo box echo. And there you have it. GV1 Ghost Fox version 2. It's up now on Google Play. Uh, it'll be up on Amazon. Uh, the updated version will be up on Amazon shortly as well. Thanks a lot for all your support, everybody.